Buongiorno everyone and welcome to the Southampton Quick Thoughts here on the Strawberry Terrace. We're not at St Mary Stadium and thankfully we didn't make that 664 mile round trip. We could have gone out to be fair, one mate could have got uh, tickets for a tenner. Aye. Thank fuck we didn't take that. The main, the main issue is right, we, 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 so we, pleased we, 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 we would have went if the travel wasn't so much because it was such uh, a last minute thing now. with work and everything like the travel, 250 quid trains uh, on it, 200 quid flights. Mission. We've managed to get coaches pretty cheap, but they were like six, seven hours. And fuck that for that lump of shit that we just watched there. Have you seen what we said before the game? I fucking said that. Um, I apologise so, for my optimism. Yeah, I, I, I knew it, man. Two two teams don't really have anything. Right. Like, like, but we're looking at Southampton's attack. I'm actually quite surprised how far down they are. Like, why they didn't start Gabby Dini, I will never understand. But even with, like, uh, Danny Ings... Uh, Charlie Austin Shane Long came Shane off Long. Now he scored They're, he loves, they're loves four against the really good strikers We like, were seeing like, like Every so single one of those strikers would Every get one of them team. would be In the starting 11 at the tune uh, Yeah you've got like, Gabby Adini and Shane Long On the bench, off the bench yeah. Mental that And that's where the problem lies For Newcastle Because to be fair right 0-0 no, away no, no, at there That would normally be Classed as, a, as an arrow result We haven't won the Premier League take You pick it. up a point yeah, You take, take it. it But under Newcastle's Current circumstances uh, We have climbed from Bottom of the table To 19th we are now two points off, 17th, two points out of the relegation zone, but we desperately needed to win the day, and by God, that was awful. I was so bored during that game, I, start, I got my calculator out, and I've calculated that being the 10th game, we've watched 15 hours of football this season. <laughs> 15 hours of Newcastle United and seen six goals. That's awful. And why can we score against the big teams, not the little teams? <laughs> How can know. we score two in the first 10 minutes at Old Trafford? And then not score against Brighton and Southampton. Who else got to go against Arsenal? Chelsea. Chelsea, two, against, two against United. We haven't scored against Leicester, y Yedl Brighton, Yedl Southampton, Yedl against City. Palace. Yeah. Fucking embarrassing. What's going on, man? Hey, New Newcastle over the years, like, this is typical Newcastle, very hard to predict. But now, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? It's, so it's not pleasant. I mean, it was a, a solid defensive performance, but... Again, this is now going forward. Where's Kennedy, Perez, piss poor. So poor. Mudu didn't see enough of him. Mm -hmm. Rondon came off uh, the bench, didn't really have enough time to impact, didn't uh, really do didn't, much either. Didn't, didn't see him, that. We, Kennedy's mean, fucking garbage. Does it fall at Rafa there again, where it looks like he's obviously happy with the point? Sort of. I know a lot of people's like defending Rafa, saying like, he hasn't got the squad depth, he hasn't got the squad, he hasn't got the players that he wanted. I agree with that, 100% wholeheartedly. But he's not making the changes that you need to. Like, he's not setting out the tactics right, he's not making the right changes. Like, he's making like like for like replacements, like striker for a striker, centre mid for centre mid. It was key for like, Diomi and then it was what? He took off Perez, Perez uh, for Rondon. Took off Mutu for Guliatu, didn't he? Uh, so he left one up top. So he, he was... 10 minutes ago, he's quite comfortable there. Like, Sam Thelton could have been there for the taking, could have been caught on the counter. He's, he's, he's quite happily like, settled for a point there, hasn't he? Yeah. Which, yeah. In, in the grand scheme of things, it, it, it might not be a bad point. It all depends on. Wait, it basically depends on last week getting to be up Brighton. If you had a win <laughs> Brighton last week and you go to Southampton and get a point, decent point. Fair yeah. enough, you're at the relegation zone, you're uh, sorry. Uh -uh. But it all leans towards what happens in the next couple of games, both at home, mm -hmm. both against uh, Bournemouth and Watford. Not easy games. But, I mean, going back to the day again... You're just looking just... there, what, 6th and 7th now? Aye. Or 5th and 6th? Aye, 6th and 7th. 6th and 7th. Both won the Hard day. Games. Bournemouth were comfortable 3-0 away at Fulham. Watford, expected win at home at Huddersfield. Very comfortable again, though. Yeah. Two very good sides, which you, they're gonna, you see Newcastle struggling against, like. They're, they're going to come to Newcastle and look at our team and think, they're going to get three points here. Aye, look at the mess, though. That's e going on around the club. They're going to be thinking easy three points. Sec second off bottom. Fucking look lucky to be off the bottom. Mm. Yeah, they're going to come here. They both have had very good starts to the season. Uh, Watford especially, like they've went a little bit off pace, but they're still sitting in uh, seventh. Got a good winning day. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to. Been last week. They're going to see us going to them or them coming to us and thinking three points. No, uh, easy. They're now the turmoil at the club at the minute. They just think yeah. it's, it's a place that many teams are fancy coming. Like unlike yeah. back in the day when you know you'd, you'd fear coming up here, but at the minute it's just again back the game of the day that falls at. You get in the final third and it's just you're looking for someone to do something. I know. You get to the final third and think, what do we do? Aye. Like, like you can't even really blame the players because there's nothing there. Like if if say like Yedlin's running down the right wing, he's got 
uh, Richie for support. But who's in the middle? Who's coming in? Like, Aye. like the, the number ten's lacking. Like, there's, there's that uh, ball where in, in and around the D or, or someone making the run at the box. Not happening with Perez. Obviously, Mutley we're not playing along the ground, so there's no presence up top. Mm -hmm. It's just it's a it's an abysmal watch at the minute for Newcastle. Like, it's 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 just fucking shit watching them for 90 minutes, isn't it? Need, need to try and get uh, Rondon's confidence and form and fitness up. Aye. Like, not that he's really going to make that much difference. Like, he got relegated to West Brom last season, full exactly. of form. He's, he's like, not a prolific goal scorer, is he? But he's that big central target man and out and out number nine that we really need because nah. Muto and Perez just aren't cutting the mustard. Nah. No mustard no, being cut. No DJ mustard. And you'd maybe have a little bit of an up and top there, uh, little and large going on, but yeah. now Rafa's not going to play that. Because that's what you'd like to see. You know, you go what Watford home next Saturday. Mutu in fucking Rondon up front. Garbert. I wouldn't even mind seeing uh, Rondon and Hustle. Aye. Two, Hustler, two, aye. two biggins. Big and Constantly big. Constantly with the ball in the box. Yeah. Big, big and big. Why not? Like have aye. one maybe sitting a bit deeper. Maybe he's Rondon perhaps like a number 10. Aye. Why not? Like we've got fucking out to lose. Because we keep on doing this. We need to change not tactics. Scoring goals. Yeah, need goals to, win games. It's just not happening. Need to do something. Like whatever it is. You even get that uh, that fucking Danish young in or something. Sorry, like, sorry. Just needs something to happen because it's not happening at the minute. Might as well try and do the unexpected. Mm. So yes, we're saying like Watford and Bournemouth are gonna come and not have any fear. If you change it up, make 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 it so they wouldn't expect this. Like catch them off the counter. Right. Like why not put Sorensen in? Play because every player is two big lads up the top. Yeah. how to do when you cast them because we do the same shit week in week out. Can you imagine like centre backs like big lads like we were saying last week like Lewis Dunk six foot three going up against Muto and Perez? Be fucking pissing us up. up against a fucking high school primary school, isn't it? You think? I know. It's like it's like year 11's going against year nine. Uh, <laughs> like, welcome to high school, bitch. <laughs> yes. Oh, forget it. Initiation year seven against the fucking six formers. It's fucking embarrassing, man. If I was a if I was like a six foot four centre back coming to play against them two, I'd be like in easy days. Nah, this is what you mean, like <laughs> walking these as park. But let us know what you made of the Southampton game. What we should have done differently, and going forward against Watford here next week. Enjoy, Enjoy yourselves! Check out the Magpie Channel merchandise. Hoodies, hats, t-shirts, embroidered and printed available and the back print on the new t-shirts. All sizes available. The link will be in the description of this video uh, to the Etsy, it's etsy.co.uk slash the Magpie Channel. Make sure you check it out. Support us. It goes back into the channel, it goes into new equipment, away it is prize giveaways for yourselves if you haven't seen the magpie 4 videos mm -hmm. enjoy yourselves